Shalom, shalom, shalom. Before I start, I want to give honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the only true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his only true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Green Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am Mashiach Arazaka from the tribe of Gad, coming through the spirit. And uh, pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as The End of E. Alright? The End of E. And you brothers should know who I'm talking about. I don't want to get a strike on my channel. The Lord one lesson is edifying. And uh, the first precept I'm going to go into is uh, Obadiah chapter 1 and uh, we're gonna start at uh, verse 3 Lord willing this lesson is edifying Obadiah 1 and 3 it says the pride of thine heart have deceived thee it says thou dwellest in the cliffs of the rock and who dwells in the cliffs of the rock who dwelt in the cliffs of the rock Esau all right Esau lead him the so-called white man all right this is talking about Esau all right Obadiah 1 and 3 it says the pride of the heart have deceived thee it says thou have dwellest in the cliffs of the rock whose habitation is high that saith in his heart who shall bring me down to the ground and this is the type of spirit that Esau has all right Esau believes that no one is going to bring him down to the ground but the Lord is and I got a precept this is a uh, Proverbs 8 and I believe it's verse 13 um, so like it. Yeah, I want to go to that, but it's Proverbs. Uh, I want to go to 16 first. Proverbs 16, 18. That's a perfect precept, but I will get that after because I want to. This is the precept I really want to get. So like it. This is Proverbs 16, 18. I'm going to go to that precept, Lord willing, after this. This is Proverbs 16, 18. Pride go up before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Right. Esau, Edom is the, is the most pridefulest nation out of the nations. Esau, Edom. All right, he's been ruling so long that he believes that he's not gonna uh, fall. All right, and that no one can bring him down. But the Lord Yahweh Mashai is gonna confound him and bring him down. All right, this is what's gonna happen to Esau. But Esau believes that he's not gonna uh, fall. All right, and this is the precept here. It is right here. I get it now. Proverbs eight and thirteen. All right, so that precept was uh, Proverbs 16 18. All right, pride go up before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. So Esau believes that no one can bring him down to the ground, but the Lord is going to bring him down to the ground. Proverbs 8 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way and the four mouth do I hate. So there's a lot of things that the Lord hates. All right, but what are the, one of the things that the Lord hates is Esau. All right, and this is a uh, Romans 9 and 13. This is Romans 9 and 13. Let's get that out. Read down to verse 15. This is Romans 9 and 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So the Lord hates Esau. Who's Jacob? The 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. So the Lord loves the Israelites. But Esau I have hated. The Lord hates Esau. It says, What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? God forbid. Verse 15. For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on who I whom I who on whom I will have compassion. So the Lord will have the Lord stating that he'll have mercy on who he have mercy on. And the Lord is also stating he'll have compassion on whom he'll have compassion on all right everything is is all through the will of the heavenly father yahweh all right everything is it the, is everything is in the will of the heavenly father all right publicly paraphrasing all right so the lord allows who he'll have compassion on and who he'll have mercy on all right it's all through the will of the lord the heavenly father all right and um 
I got a preset. This is a uh, Joe. Let me get that so I can uh, let me test it. This is Joe 20 and uh, start at verse 23. This is Joe 20 and 23. It says, "Where he's about to, f where he's about to fill his belly, Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and shall rain upon him." while he is eating right meaning what the lord is going to bring esau down all right esau believes that he's going to come through with his new world order all right he's going to fulfill his new world order all right but the heavenly father is going to bring him down to the ground it's going to bring him down all right the lord is going to destroy his kingdom verse 24 it says he shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel shall strike him through and that's what his judgment is going to be the lord is going to bring him down all right esau believes in his spirit that no one is going to bring him down esau believes in his mind so like it that no one can bring him down but the lord is going to bring him down man all right the lord is going to bring esau down and he's going to lose his kingdom and he's going to be destroyed all right and he's going to go into slavery as the scripture says prophecy all right and um i got a, a, another precept about shop um this is uh actually i want to get malachi Slovakia. that's exactly what i was trying to get malachi um i set out verse um I'll start at verse 1, Salaki. I'll read down to verse 4. This is Malachi 1 and 1. It says, The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. Verse 2, I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau's Jacob was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I've loved Jacob. Verse 3, verse 3, and I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness verse 4 it says whereas edom saith it says whereas edom saith we are imper we are impoverished by we will so like it we were so like we from the top so like it malachi 1 and 4 whereas edom saith we are impoverished but we will return and build the desolate places thus saith the lord of hosts they shall build but i will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the lord have indignation for right because the lord is going to destroy esau's rulership all right that's the end of the world the end of esau's rulership salakia so like it. this is second edra six and six it says then it says then did i consider these things and they and they all were made through me alone and through none other by me also they shall be ended and by none other right the lord is in control of all things all right that's basically what second edra six and six is talking about the lord is in control of all things all right there's no other person there's no other power out there but yahweh bashim all right verse 7 it says then answered i and said what shall be the parting asunder of times or what shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth mm -hmm. verse 8 and he said unto me from abraham unto isaac when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held Esau's heel. Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Salakia. Verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. Esau, Edom, is the so-called white man. All right. You so-called white people are Esau, Edom. And this is the end. The end of the world is the end of your rulership. All right. It says, verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. The elect of the nation of Israel has got next. 
all right and the elect is going to rule lord willing we are that number but the end of esau's rulership all right is the end of the world which is the end of esau's rulership which is this place called america babylon the great all right so esau is the end of the world and this is his end so hey lord willing this lesson was edifying till next time i say shalom Thank you.